Locked up in the Tower of London. I love history, especially when I have a chance to look around dark, damp old dungeons and check out gruesome stuff like torture chambers and... Well, you get the idea. So here I am at the Tower of London. My uncle's a beef eater, one of the special yeoman warders. He's always telling me about the famous prisoners at the Tower, so I've come on a tour to check the place out for myself. The Tower of London is famous for the crown jewels. They're amazing. I've never seen such massive diamonds and rubies. Makes me think of all the kings and queens who've been here, and famous people like Sir Walter Raleigh. He was an explorer who sailed the seas. But this place isn't just for the rich and famous. My uncles told me that plenty of normal people were prisoners here over the centuries, including a couple of real pirates. One was called Alice Wolfe. She and her husband were locked up for theft and for murdering man on a boat. My uncle said she was also a pretty cunning person. Hang on, what are those? Shackles? Chains on the wall? That's weird. I'm sure they weren't here a moment ago. Let's have a closer look. Whoa! Where am I? Oh look! There's a woman in those shackles. This room is so dark and cold. It's hard to see. Maybe that's Alice Wolfe herself. Madam, you and your husband are both to be executed for the murder of Jerome de George and Charles Bench. I'll take Pity on a poor, weak woman, please. These shackles are so painful. I've done nothing wrong. See, I'm not strong enough to raise my arm. Far less kill a man. So fair and weak. What a web your husband must have woven to entreat you to be complicit. Yes, none of it was my fault. And I am so thirsty, sir. I beseech you, aid a lady in distress. I reckon Alice is good at persuading people to do things. Look, he's loosening the chains and getting her a drink. Thank you, kind Mr. Board. How handsome and strong you are. Look, I think Board must like Alice. He's come back, even though it's the middle of the night. Milady, our plan is thus. We shall meet on the roof of St. Thomas's Tower. I shall cast ropes over the wharf and we shall slip past the guards with you disguised in this cloak. To appear as if we are but two gentlemen. Me? Disguised as a man? What larks! How happy we shall be! Oh, let us be swift. <laughs> Success, my lady! We have made it outside the tower. Freedom is yours! You pair, halt! I'll drop. He spotted us. Dressed as a man, Madam Wolf. A foolish plan. Bored will be tortured and you shall not escape again. Death is the only escape you can hope for now. I know what they say of me. Terrible things. They think me some kind of demon. That I bewitched Master Bored and that it was I who tempted my husband to do such wicked things that led me to this dungeon. As if I had such powers. The merchants you tricked, they were killed and thrown in the Thames and those coins stolen. Your charms do not work on me, madam. But these shackles, such an indignity. I'm begging you, please, sir. I'm not sure Alice is going to be able to get out of this one. On 31st of March, 1534, Alice and her husband, John Wolfe, met a watery end at Pirate's Gallows in Wapping. They were sentenced to be executed by hanging in chains. That's being hung at sea because their crime had been in a boat on water, you see. And I'm back. The shackles have gone and the tour group's gone too. I better catch them up. So, did Alice deserve her fate? It's hard to believe we used to execute people in such horrible ways. What we do know is that Alice Wolfe was definitely not a weak, helpless woman. You could say she was actually pretty clever and brave. Although, two men did lose their lives. Three, in fact, as Board was executed too. I better go. Catch you later. Locked up in the Tower of London with support from historic royal palaces. Find out more at funkidslive.com tower.